Alright, so this is going to be another movie review. This one's called What's Good for the Goose. 1969. It's going to be a, a pre-canon Jewish producer canon guy. Movie from 1969. He also directed it. I can never remember his name and I never put his name in the description box. Just like that AIP guy whose name I don't remember. Samuelson or I don't know. Anyway, it's super loud here with these 18-wheeler trucks. I'm doing this on my phone and I'm watching Netflix in my car. We do it off we aim to please. We do it all for you to get these Netflix out of the way for the long Sunday with my son where he sits around and plays video games, watches YouTube, and I sit around and watch Netflix. In any case, I'm giving this movie two out of five stars. I just liked it. The only good parts really were the uh, psychedelic rock band from 1969 with the long hair and the beards and the groovy clothes. It's about this, uh, it's a lot like Joe, I think, but uh, it has the humor of Carry On series. I mean, I didn't laugh one single time in this one and uh it's about some bankster dude in a bowler hat and uh double breasted suit uh one of the uh bank executives has a heart attack or a stroke or something and so he agrees to go to some bank bankster conference picks up a couple of uh, young Brit hitchhikers. Uh, I, I, I mentioned the gal from uh, the Oblong Box in my last video, which was pitch dark when I uploaded it on YouTube. Couldn't even see my face. <laughs> it was like 6 in the morning. And um, she gets naked a couple times. Once on the beach and another time with the uh, rub-a-dub-dub -dub in the bathtub with their lesbian hippie friend. Um, some redhead. You can actually see her pink nipples in the bathtub if you look really closely. Don't take your eyes off. You can sort of see them bouncing in this, in this soap. The, uh, the bubble bath. And I think she regretted getting naked in this one later on. But, uh... You know, it's somewhat canon-related, so you can understand why there's nudity in it. I guess that's why it has an R rating. So this guy's, uh... cheating on his wife. He's, uh... He's hitting on the, the hippie big time. There's about 38... 30 year age difference would be like me dating somebody on Tinder age 19 and uh, and she really falls for him but then she uh, she goes to bed with another younger guy and uh, dude goes back to his wife and that's pretty much the movie there's no plot really just a conservative uh, bankster dude going after a young young and Brit hippie that's about it and, uh, dude's wife doesn't seem to mind she's more concerned with their hair colors her uh, 
her mud mask, her facial mask, whatever that the heck that thing is. She's always putting cream on her face. And uh, she doesn't care one bit that he's cheating on her. I guess it's part of the uh, women's lib feminism kind of uh, free love 1969 so uh, that's about it not a good movie Uh, I'm going to watch another uh, movie I think it's called I Love Rosa and uh, try to watch a little bit of that in the uh, Good Eggs parking lot trying to catch up on all this stuff uh my low tire pressure situation and uh, and my lunch breaks in my car now and my ability to upload videos on my phone this is all coming together and uh, try to uh, upload these videos more frequently for my loving fans there in Australia All two of them. (laughs) Later.